what is Scott Kelly experiencing right now? Well, I think he's in the first quarter of his football game that's going to last a year. So he's very excited. Everything's new. He's uh, readapting to new crewmates. And even though he's been there before, there's a bit of a, an orientation factor since he was last there. So I think he's on a pretty good high right now. Okay, so he's on a high, but that high will inevitably get lower and lower the longer the, the, the time you spend on ISS. So, you know, you spend a, a good several months there yourself. I mean, what happens, Clayton, when you pass the six-month mark? I mean, what are we actually trying to learn beyond, let's say, six to eight months on the ISS? Well, the key here is that most people believe we all want to go to Mars someday, and in order to do that, uh, the distance to travel and the time that it's going to take is long enough that a year in space for uh, Scott Kelly and um, Mikhail Kornienko mm -hmm. will give us more information as to how the human body can adapt and how it can survive. The, you know, we worry about eye issues, we worry about heart issues, we worry about blood pressure issues. The longer these guys can stay in space and the more data we can gather, the smarter we'll become when we do decide to go to Mars. So what's the most unusual thing that happens to you physically when you come back after being there that long? Well, it kind of varies per person, I think. But uh, for most folks, when you come back from a long duration space flight, you're very, very heavy and you're very, very methodical in what you do uh, simply because you're pretty much exhausted and your muscles haven't done what they do on Earth for a long time. So it takes, I don't know, for me, it took about 24 hours before I could actually walk, stand, and, and behave what I thought was normally, although it was a three-week rehabilitation process for me to be able to run the same speed and amount that I did before I left the planet or lift the same amount of weight. Wow. Um, uh, Clayton, look, there is this fascination uh, with going to Mars. You're puzzled by why we want to go? Well, I'm not necessarily puzzled by why we want to go to Mars. I'm puzzled by the steps that were taken to get there. I'm a believer that we should go to the moon first and perhaps establish a lunar base because if we really want to live off the land uh, on Mars, like a lot of the theorists uh, tell us we can, right. then I think we need to learn the techniques and learn the design and the mechanisms of the actual uh, pieces of equipment that we're going to need to do those things. And to do them three days away on Mar or on the moon, I think, is a great way for us to learn and to adapt our designs and to uh, overcome our uh, deficiencies before we enable ourselves to go on a six to nine month journey to the red planet. Uh, you know, I think it's a great point. So why aren't we doing that? Why aren't we back on the moon? Well, I, that that's above my pay grade, apparently. Um, <laughs> I think that we should consider uh, the lunar base as the first step to going to Mars. You know, a lot of people say, well, we've already done that. Well, we visited the lunar surface, but we really didn't do Explore, a lot. Explore, yeah. You know, I would like to prove and, and have the, the pieces of equipment that can get water from the lunar surface or that can create the oxygen or the hydrogen or whatever it is we believe is there for us to use. I think we need to go there and begin to develop the mechanisms that are going to allow us to do that yeah. so that we can then apply that knowledge to Mars. So, Clayton, um, uh, you know, Elon Musk uh, over the weekend said that he believes, guys, do we have that sound bite? That he believes that we are going to go to Mars in the next 10 years. We will have a mission to Mars in the next decade. Is that, is that possible? Well, I suppose with enough uh, money invested, anything's possible. Um, I think we're a long way from getting to Mars right now. One of the things people need to keep in mind with Scott Kelly and those guys on the station, if you were going to ask me to go to Mars, I would want my spaceship to be at least the size of three space station modules in order wow. to make that, that journey. Now, that's just Clay talking, but most people think they see the designs for these small capsules and things, and they believe that those might be the things that go to Mars. Well, they're going to be attached to something bigger, uh, and I don't think we know what that is yet.